am Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the twisted cowl. Uh, you can see the full picture of it here and then I have my sample one uh, here to show you up close. You can see the detail and the texture. So this is a very uh, textured cowl and it's crocheted using uh, what is sometimes called the twisted stitch. And then it's completed with a simple single crochet and chain stitch edding, edging. It is an infinity cowl. It measures approximately 60 inches around uh, and it's about uh, 7 inches wide. Okay, so about 60 inches around. It's comfortable enough to kind of double it over and twist it around yourself to wear outside. Now for this crochet project, you're going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need about three balls of the Lion Brand Landscapes yarn, which is a uh, self-stripping yarn. It, uh, it's a roving yarn and it has quite a nice texture and soft feel to it. So you're going to need three balls. If you're going to substitute the yarn, you can substitute it for any worsted weight yarn. Uh, each ball is about 150 yards. Um, so you're going to need about uh, 450 yards of a worsted weight yarn if you're going to substitute. Okay, uh, you'll also need a yarn needle for weaving in your ends and of course a pair of scissors for finishing off. The free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will provide the direct link there for you in the notes of this video. So thank you so much for joining me here today. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, grab your materials and we'll get started together on this twisted cowl. So there are two options today for beginning our cowl. Uh, option A is that you can work a foundation round of double crochet stitches and you would work a total of 165. The other option is that you chain 165 chains and then join in the first chain with a slip stitch and then for your round one to chain three and work a double crochet stitch in each chain all the way around. Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate how uh, to begin this cowl by working the foundation double crochet stitch. And uh, there's also, if you're wanting to know more about it, there's more uh, information in a video that focus just, focuses just on the foundation double crochet uh, here on my YouTube channel. And I will, uh, I'll try and uh, link it up in this video. So for the foundation double crochet stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to start by making your slip knot and you're going to chain four. You're then going to yarn over and in that fourth chain from your hook, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and draw through that first loop. That is going to form your chain stitch. Then you're going to complete on top of that chain a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. Now in this pattern, your chain three at the beginning is always going to count as a stitch. So my chain three here is my first double crochet stitch. And then my second one is that one that we just worked. We now want to continue on making these foundation double crochet stitches. So next you're going to, for the next one, you're going to yarn over, looking at the bottom of your work, and it's hard to see it in this first one, but you will see a V. And that V is what is uh, pretending to be your chain. So you're going to work into it. You're going to insert your hook under both of those loops, yarn over, 
and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You want to first make your chain stitch, so yarn over and pull through that first loop. Now you want your double crochet, so you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two more. You've now worked three double crochet, including that starting chain three. We're going to do that again. So yarn over, insert your hook at the bottom, you'll see that V stitch. Insert your hook under those two loops, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, work your chain stitch, then complete your double crochet, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And we now have four. So you're going to continue to do that until you have a total of 165 foundation double crochet stitches. So you will have uh, that chain three followed by 164 double crochet stitches, okay? You want a total of 165. Once you have 165 in the top of that starting chain three, you're going to join with a slip stitch to make a round. So once you have your round of foundation double crochet stitches, uh, or else your chain, uh, followed by your round of double crochet stitches, you are going to, uh, a total of 165, sorry, you are going to join in the top of that first chain three with a slip stitch. At this point, you are not going to turn your work. Make sure that your, um, your round is not twisted, okay? So you want it to lay nice and flat. If you did the round of foundation double crochet stitches, you will see that this end does not pull together. That's okay, because when you do your edging, it's going to pull that in uh, together nice and tight. So you don't have to worry about uh, attaching that right now. Now for round two, what you're going to do is you're going to start off by chaining three, and you'll remember that our chain three always counts as a stitch. You're then going to skip that first uh, double crochet or that first chain three, and you're going to work a front post double crochet around this next stitch, which is this one here. To work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post, working from front through to back, and then out the other side to the front again, you're then going to yarn over and draw the loop, bringing it around the post of that stitch. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your first stitch. Next, you're going to work a back post double crochet around the next stitch. So to work your back post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, Bring your hook to the back of your work, insert your hook from the right up through the front, over across your stitch and out through the back again on the left side. Yarn over and draw the loop, bringing it around that stitch post again. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. That is your back post double crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. So front post, double crochet around the next stitch, followed by a back post, double crochet around the next. Repeat that all the way around. And when you come back to your first chain three, you are going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. At that time, you will turn your work. So front post, uh, double crochet, back post, double crochet, all the way around, join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain three, and turn your work. So coming around to the end of your round two, you're going to join with a 
a slip stitch in the top stitch. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. So from here on end, you are going to turn at the end of each round. You're now going to, for the next, uh, from rounds three to 15, you are going to simply repeat round two. So you've chained three, and then in the next stitch, you're going to start by working your front post double crochet stitch, followed by a back post double crochet stitch. So you're going to repeat round two for a total of 15 rounds. Uh, your cowl is going to measure um, seven inches wide. Okay, and essentially what it's going to do is it's going to be um, pulling the stitches in the opposite direction uh, as then the stitch below. So you can see that when you turned your work, I have this uh, post uh, double crochet that is sort of out front, but my next one's a back post, uh, back post double crochet, so it's going to pull that front post back again and it's going to give you this woven texture that uh, that you see in uh, when when you have a few more rows I'll show it to you once again in my sample you can see it more fully here so it's going to give you this woven texture this in and out um, look which creates quite a neat look when it's worked with this yarn so go ahead and work uh, a total of 15 rounds so your work is going to measure about seven inches and then uh, if you would like you can fasten off your work there and weave in your ends or if you would like you may also uh, simply leave the yarn attached and I will show you how to go ahead and work the edging rounds So you will have now worked 15 rounds of uh, that uh, twisted stitch, that uh, those front and back post double crochet stitches. Uh, here I haven't done that, I'm just going to pretend that I did. So yours is going to measure approximately 7 inches wide. Now I'd just like to show you how to work the edging of the cowl. And the edging is worked the same on both of your long edges. What you're going to do is you'll either have fastened off and you'll have woven in all your ends or you can leave your yarn attached when you come to that final join. Uh, if you have fastened off, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch in any stitch along the long edge of your cowl and you're going to chain one. After you have chained one, you're going to start by working a single crochet stitch in that same stitch as joining. chain three and now work a single crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches you're now going to repeat chain three and single crochet in each of the next three stitches and repeat chain three single crochet in each of the next three stitches so you're going to continue that repeat all the way around your cowl uh, until you come to that first stitch when you come to that first stitch you're going to join into the top of it with a slip stitch fasten off your work weave in your ends and then you're going to go and repeat the exact same thing for the other side of your cowl and that's all there is to working this twisted cowl so thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial on how to crochet the twisted cowl be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and until next time happy crocheting bye